everybody, welcome to Zoe TV. So today I'm going to do the 7 Deadly Sins tag. If you want to see my previous video, it was the... Um, what's it called again? Would you rather tag? That's it. Okay, so I'm going to start the 7 Deadly Sins tag. Let's go! Number one, what is your most inexpensive beauty item? What is your most expensive beauty item? So, by the way, I got these questions from Miss Gomorazzi's channel. So, my least expensive beauty product is probably my e.l.f. blush. And this is in Candid Coral. Looks like this. And I think this was around... It was like under £2, I'm sure. So, you can see that I've used it a lot. It's a really nice, pretty, shimmery pink shade. I'll put it on my cheekbones right now for you. And you can't really see it. But it's a nice, everyday kind of blush. It's really natural. It's got a hint of glitter in it. Like, not glitter, like shimmer. So it's kind of shimmery. It's nice for a highlight. I actually use it for my highlight, not like blush blush. So that. And my most expensive beauty item is definitely something from MAC. And it is probably my MAC 234 stippling brush. I got that ages ago and it was quite pricey. It might have gone down in price, but either that or like a creme de nude lipstick or lip liner. Because they are quite pricey, let's face it. Number two, what beauty products do... Oh, by the way, I've got the questions on my screen here. This is why I'm looking this way. If it's annoying, I apologise. Number two, what beauty products do you have a love-hate relationship with? I'd say um, some concealers because, like, you think you found the perfect shade concealer and you think it's going to go on nice and then it goes on really pasty and then the coverage is not good and that really annoys me. One um, concealer product that I really like is the Benefit one. Benefit is really good. I actually got that as a gift. So the Benefit concealer is brilliant. So, I probably have a love and hate relationship with concealer. Okay. Number three, what are your most delicious beauty products? I have them right next to me. The first one is everyone can get it. It's really inexpensive and it's very good for moisturising the lips. This is just the Vaseline and this is the limited edition one. And it's called Paint the Town Red Lip Tint. So, it just looks like that. It's quite a raspberry red. When you first smell it, it literally smells like you've just picked up a bunch of roses. So, this, this is delicious. And it also tastes delicious. It does. So that's number one, Vaseline. It's pretty normal, basic. Next one, I have to include this. This is the Lush Sugar Scrub in Bubblegum. Bubblegum flavour sugar lip scrub. So, definitely this. I have actually had this for quite a while now, so I'm sure it's going off. Never use any products that have gone off, people. Never, ever. Not body lotions, nothing. Get rid of them right away. I watched Dulcie Candy's video, and she said that she used a moisturiser that had gone off, and she came up in, like, a rash or something, and that just put me off. Went in my bathroom, just chucked everything that had expired. Because some, sometimes you don't realise what has expired. So, because, you know, they're just in the back of your cupboard, so definitely check that, it's not good. So, yeah, this sugar scrub, obviously, is edible, so you can eat it, so that's on the plus side. Who doesn't want a sugar scrub that you can eat? I mean, let's face it. Next one, this is a Bare Minerals lip gloss I actually got as a gift. I've been trying to look for the name, but it doesn't seem to have a, uh, a name, a look. <laughs> it doesn't seem to have a name, but this is what it looks like. And this is the brush. It's nice. Okay, so when you first open it and you first smell it, it literally smells of, you know like when you're cooking brownie mix, which I actually did today. When you're cooking brownie mix, it literally smells of that, like when you're whisking it, the batter. It's amazing. Just smells of chocolatey goodness. I haven't actually used this for quite a while. Let's just put it on. It's quite a brownie taupey colour. 
but nonetheless it's really nice and it smells absolutely delicious. So that's the third one. Um, number four, what beauty product... That lip gloss is kind of sticky. What beauty product do you neglect due to laziness? Contouring. Although I do a basic contour, I just use like a bronzer and just do my cheekbones. I don't really do the full, full contour every day kind of thing. I don't do like, I do sometimes do the jawline, the forehead, the temples, you know, down the nose sometimes, but I don't on a daily basis. I just kind of go da da da, boom boom, da da da, boom boom. So I guess you can call, call that lazy because I just kind of slap it on. I don't make it look like it's been slapped on, but I do blend it. But I just go whisk, whisk. I don't know why I used a whisk, but I didn't use a whisk. I don't know what I'm talking about. Number five, what beauty product gives you the most self-confidence? And I would say probably concealer because if I'm in one of those moods where I don't want to leave the house with a bunch of makeup on, which is nearly every day, what I do is I just apply a little bit of Benefit concealer or any concealer that I feel like using that day. I like the Revlon one as well. Just take a little bit of concealer and I just instantly feel fresh and awake. It just gives your face that, oh, she's made a little bit of an effort, but not like you've literally just put a load of black on your eyes and you've done your lips and your contouring and your highlight. So I'd say concealer. I love concealer. Number six, what attributes do you find most attractive in the opposite sex? Has this question got anything to do with makeup beauty? Makeup beauty? It hasn't really. I'm actually trying to figure out why it's asking that, but I'm going to answer it. So, most attractive attributes. I'd say a kind gentleman and someone that makes me laugh if they've got a good sense of humour. Obviously all the physical stuff also matters, but it's first of all the sense of humour, whether they can actually make you laugh and hold a decent conversation, then that's, that's it basically. Number seven, what items would you most like to receive as a gift? I'm guessing this is just beauty related, like just beauty kind of gifts. I'd say something that I use pretty much on a daily basis so then I can have like backups of it. Um, I'm actually not sure that's a hard one. I'd say a highlight with a bronzer, I'd, yeah I'd say a good highlight, a nice MAC highlight because although I use my blush one I want kind of like a white based highlight, this is kind of a pinky toned one, it's actually a blush not a highlight but yeah I'd like to try out a good highlighter, so that's that question. So I hope you have enjoyed this tag video, the 7 deadly sins. And please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Also, like I always say, please leave me um, YouTube suggestions because I want to make more videos and I want to do what you guys want to see. And yeah, so that's it. Thank you all for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!